they're he's, trying to do the Wonder Boy, like so, the yeah. Tony Paddy thing. Yeah, well, they're trying to give him the rub, aren't yeah. they? But the thing is, like you said, he's probably said, well, I want my pay from last fight, and they probably, oh, just give it to him. He looked slow because Strickland was in his face for 25 minutes, pressuring him. She's got an apartment that's worth more than your net worth. He's like, yeah, because fucking Leonardo DiCaprio paid for it. <laughs> yeah. like, oh. Some men are gonna chat shit till I'm not gonna make like I'm Jack Levels Shaw. Rolls hat, rolls back, my flow shot like a hacksaw. Getting off. Here we go, episode 41, and we're back with the solo episode. Sorry, people. Sorry about the no guests. Um, yeah. We got a big shoes to fill in. We have to mark last episode. That's um, it, mate. But we're back, all the same. Where do we start, Joseph? I don't know, mate. There's been a lot going on in the world of uh, combat yeah, we sports. Haven't, let's go with, to start with, um, because the last one of the last videos we've done was Strickland's Funniest Moments. I mean, I haven't really caught up on that, have we, since, no. I know, I, what was it, two, two, three weeks ago now? You yeah, it's, it's three weeks. Yeah, it got to be three weeks. And it's mad because both of us come in with a prediction of, I didn't think he was going to get it done. Yeah. And then you turn around and we've had to take a break since. I don't think it was bad. just us. I think it was probably 99% or 95% of people. Um, I know. And that's not a knock on Strickland. They just think... Adesanya is that good, but uh, yeah, the the UFC's worst PR nightmare has come to fruition. Like they got the main <laughs> man. I I woke up on that Sunday morning, I think it was, and I'd actually just seen a clip on Instagram before I'd even I hadn't gone and watched yeah. the fights yet. Well, I hadn't watched it. I got up, got the iPad on, so I was watching it in bed. The baby was asleep, and uh, I had a text off um Sash Shots. He always texts me after UFC. And he just text text me, wow. So I was like, either some fucking dramatic, like dramatic mental has happened, yeah. or, or what? Like, you know, I, I just thought, oh, he must have fucking made it look easy. Um, started watching the fight then, and um, he dropped him in the first one. And I was like, fuck, you know. I was thinking, uh, he's going to do him now. I thought, this must be what he's on about, first round. And. Um, he survived it. And then I started to think to myself, oh, was he texting me? Wow, was he watching it live? I was like, oh my God, he just dropped yeah. him. And then did he go on to lose? But unreal performance, and to it, be honest. Almost more impressive that he went the whole five and just Unbelievable. Put Dominant, it on dominated him. every yeah. round. May, maybe lost the second round. And that was just out of, if anything, I think he was just recuperating a little bit and getting his, getting his breath back. Yeah. And his adrenaline must have been, he must have thought, I've got this here, yeah. didn't he, in that first round? And do you know what? Like, it does annoy me a bit because you see everyone saying, ah. Not so much that it was a fluke, but you see everyone saying, oh, Izzy had a bad day and Strickland had a really good. He's like, what was bad about Izzy's day? Like, and everyone's like, oh, he looked slow and he looked off. And he's like, yeah, he's, he looked slow because Strickland was in his face for 25 minutes pressuring him. When you're, when you're such a good, like, counter striker like Izzy, when you've got someone walking you down like that, but what Strickland done, it was really crafty. And I don't think a lot of people have, like, not that I'm some sort of genius, but I don't think a lot of people have clicked on. Although he was walking him down and pressuring him, if you go and watch the fight back, he wasn't throwing a lot of the first phases. He was almost throw, forcing Izzy to throw first. Now, what Izzy is so good at is letting his opponent throw and countering them. You've seen he knocked Pereira out of it. Uh, Brunson, he knocked out of it. He, he, he dropped Gaslam countless times. But what Strickland done was cut him off beautifully, so like didn't give him no space, stayed in his face, stayed on him, but almost forced him to lead the dance. And then what Strickland was doing then was, was going behind behind Izzy, so he was letting Izzy throw, and then he was countering Izzy, and, yeah, it was just fucking picture perfect, like, it was, didn't, didn't look for one takedown, um, great cornering from his team, from Eric Nixick, unbelievable cornering, uh, even Izzy have come out and said, every time I felt like I was setting him up, his corner was on it straight away, um, and just great cornering of, you could hear him at the, like, last night, he set his every round, like, um, optics, he was shot with optics, or look, do something that's going to look like you're winning the round, and every time he did, he seemed to, like, turn it up, and brilliant performance, like, is, is it the old Philly shell, like, the old Philly, yeah, the old yeah. Floyd Mayer Philly shell, and um, he just, st like, you know, you talk about, like, sticking to the game plan, perfect, I know the game plan's probably, like, rest a little bit more, but it didn't once get lulled in, didn't get snake charmed, as his corner said, he got snake charmed, the and didn't let that happen again, and Izzy just couldn't get going. And I don't think that was down to him. I mean, I might be wrong. I don't think that was down to him on an off night. I think that was just down to Strickland coming out and putting on his career best performance. Yeah. And he's had some good performances, haven't he? Do you know what I mean? So to, to go out there and do it like that. And then again, another fact, uh, training with Pereira, I think. Training with Pereira. Pereira showing him how, how he caught him. You could see Izzy trying to set him up, kind of faking the jab. He's looking for that left up. Pereira must have kind of said, look, this is how I caught you. 
And Strickland have come out and said, basically, Tommy, glue my right hand to my chin. <laughs> <laughs> so he's hitting the Philly shell on him. Did, did you see, uh, I think it came out yesterday, Pereira showing him, like, the one-two? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Literally, like, it was lined up perfectly. Didn't it? I, know, I know, like, you know, he, he knows how to throw one-two probably anyway, but it looked, like, picture perfect to how oh, he was showing him. You know, Pereira striking is a different level of striking to, to Strickland, isn't it? Yeah. It's like... Um, He'd be like going to learn out the box off um of Floyd Mayweather, you know, the Pereira's two time two weight glory champion, beat Izzy in in um in glory, beat him in UFC. I'd seen a thing on Facebook yesterday, a picture that in six UFC fights, Pereira has got three wins over UFC champions. Former that UFC is, That Black, is mad Black when Vich, you think about it. Adesanya and Strickland. If he goes on if he got sorry to go off top, if he goes and beats Yiri now for this like heavyweight title, so in seven fights, he's got because Yiri's a former champion, so he'll have in seven fights, he'll have six UFC wins, he'll be a two time two weight champion, and he'll have four wins over former champions. You've got to start putting him in conversation, maybe not the greatest MMA fight of all time, but he's got to be in conversation for one of the greatest combat fighters of all time to do what he's done in kickbox. And then, because you know what, it's like everyone's just kind of said. I'm going right off on a tangent here about Pereira. <laughs> but everyone's like, oh, yeah, take him down. You get him down. They're matching him nice. Take him down. Fucking Blakovich couldn't keep him down. And Black, look what Blakovich did to Izzy. Yeah, I You know? know? you got to remember, he's training with Glove all the time. But, yeah, that's my Pereira tangent. But <laughs> It's true, though, isn't it? I don't think he maybe gets a he doesn't. credit he deserves he doesn't. at the minute. He's he, still a little bit under the radar. And I just love, love that... He knows, like, he's got no defence. He just comes forward, and if he gets it, he's like, I'm just going to try and take you out, and if you take me out, all the best. Yeah, it's kind of like the Tony Ferguson effect, like, he's got from, you know, like, the fans which just were ride or die with him, and yeah. he seems to have, like, that yeah, cult yeah, following yeah. underneath your fan, so... Because of what he brings to the table, I think, as well. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, some of the Strickland memes as well have been brilliant. The the American hero and... Uh, <laughs> Some of the interviews and stuff like that he's been doing. and um, He hasn't changed though, has he? Which is great. Like. Brilliant. See him taking shots at uh, Top G? Yeah, see that. Yeah, Said yeah. he'd be quivering in his boots if he was <laughs> in the room with me. I'd steer a hole through him or yeah. something like that. Hey, I wouldn't like to disagree with him because, uh, put it this way, that <laughs> no disrespect to Top G. I think he's brilliant, but, uh, you know, Strickland is, is the best guy at that weight on the planet, isn't he? But, um, Shock the world, Unbelievable mate. performance. Yeah, brilliant. And, what they do next, I don't know. I don't think I don't even think they're leaning to I think he's is he's gonna have some time off, so I'm guessing they'll probably do um if Cam's at or Costa the winner of that maybe. Um who oh. else is there in the mix they were talking about the other day? Oh the police's the police's but I kinda of feel like they're gonna do him dirty. I feel like he's gonna be put on the back there, yeah. just giving that vibe, innit? I think they kinda of want him to have the Izzy fight, don't they? So we'll see what happens with that one. Um but yeah, some um some big fights have been announced, haven't they? We just we just talked about Yiri and um, Pereira for like heavyweight title. Um, Kobe and Leon Edwards has been announced yeah. for December. They dropped loads of big ones this week. That's a they? massive fight, massive fight for Leon as well. Main event in Vegas, end of the year on the big one of the bigger cards. And the December one's always big. And Kobe will bring in, in views when he. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see the build up for that because I, I wonder if the UFC going to play because I feel like the UFC won Kobe as the champion. Do you I think? Feel like you know, look at that division. There's so many people could have had that title shot, I think, personally. Um, you know, Bilal's knocking about there. Um, you know, Usman's always in the mix, isn't he? Uh, I feel like they give it to Kobe because they kind of want him to be, and they think it probably stylistically is a good fight for him. But Him and Strickland, like, as champions. <laughs> they're the two American, like mental, all Americans. <laughs> they're going to they're use them for the route then for Trump 2024. <laughs> yeah. Who else they announced? Roy Val's fight in... Pantoja. Paddy's uh, fighting Ferguson. Yeah, Paddy the Paddy the Baddy's back. Yeah. Mad fight that one. It is mad. It is kind of like the UFC, I would imagine, uh, wanting Paddy to win that and take him up to, up to that next Yeah, well level. they're giving you know, if Paddy wins, they're kind of giving him the rubber bit and they form a champion. But I I don't know. I also feel like it's a bit of a lose lose for him as well, because um, you know, if he wins the and we're Paddy fans, you know what I mean? We're, like for me, if Paddy's doing well, it's great for UK MMA. He's a massive star. So I'm not knocking Paddy one bit. I want I want Paddy to win the fight. But if he wins, what are the eight going to say? They're going to say... He's washed up. That's Tony Ferguson. Six fight losing streak. He's yeah. old. You know, he's well past his best. He's a gimme. But then if he loses, 
what are they going to say? He's like, we can't even beat Ferguson. He's on a yeah, six-fight yeah, losing streak. And as much as he is on a six-fight losing streak, Ferguson, let's look at the people he's lost to. Gaethje, Oliveira, Chandler, um, Nate Diaz, Bobby Green. Who was the yeah. other one? Oh, what's his name? I can, I can picture his face. Oh, no, I got it by uh, two seconds. You know, murderer's row. He, he has fought the best of the and, best in his last six. And and he's shown a little bit of... Darius, yeah. Darius. Like, he's shown bits of um, bits of Tony of old in some of the fights, didn't he? I mean, he looked all right against Bobby Green. Dropped um, Chandler, didn't he? Dropped Chandler. Uh, he didn't look great against Nate. Um, but, you know, he, he's, there's still glimpses. And... Like it's mad to think because like three years ago, and this is not this is not a knock on Paddy whatsoever because Paddy's up and comer. But three years ago, when Paddy signed the UFC, if you said oh, in three years' time, or if you said then, oh, you want to fight Tony Ferguson, everyone would kind of be like, well, no, it's, that fight don't make no sense. But good on Paddy. It's good to see him back though. He um, looks in shape as well, didn't he? He looks I... in serious shape already. I know people. He was talking about not fighting this year because of his injury, so it's good to see him back. And I think it's big. It's big for the sport. When the big stars fight, it's great for the sport. Look at the buzz it's going to be about fight week. Um, oh, yeah. And there's going to be so many people who want to watch that fight, like old fans, new fans. kind of brings it all together. Well, people fight, will now it? just tune into that just for Paddy. Yeah. It's, it's good for Leon, really, if he's got the pay-per-view points, because you've got Paddy on the card, you've got Kobe on the card. Uh, you've got... Sh- uh, what? No, who's Ian Gary fighting again? Luke Gay, that's a good yeah, fight. Okay. You've got Wonderboy and... Rachmanov. Rachmanov. Is that that card or is that November? I think that might be the... Madison Square Garden card, the Wonder Boy one. Is Wonder Boy's did, from? Did I see that they're going to pay him for the previous fight as well? Because yeah, well, Dana's kind of like sweeping it under the rug, and he might think they like because obviously you know he's he's gonna know he's gone from fighting no disrespect to Pere- Michelle Pereira, but he's nowhere near Rackman on no. the level. So they're trying to do the Wonder Boy like so, the yeah. Tony Paddy. Thing yeah, well, they're trying to give him they? the rub, aren't yeah. they? But the thing is, like you said, he's probably said, "Well, I want my pay from last fight," and they probably oh, just give it to him. Um, but that's not an easy fight for Rachman. I mean, he's predominantly a striker, and I think anyone who just comes to strike with Wonder Boy is going to be a, a difficult night for you, regardless of how good you are on the feet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and we missed any any of what I mean. I think that's all the announcements. Yeah. It? So you obviously got the, the Jones and Steep Bay card is the next real big one, I think. Um, oh, sorry, and you got the you've got the Abu Dhabi card. You got Islam and um, Oliveira. Oh, yeah, that's massive. That's a big well, card as well. Um, Chimaev Costa, I can't wait to see like the build-up for that. I can't wait to see Co- uh, Chimaev at middleweight because he hasn't fought, obviously, for over a year now. Um, he looks fucking shredded in all his training videos on YouTube. Um, but it's a tough, tough fight. Yeah. I think Chimaev's a destroyer. Like, I think he could win, I think he could win the middleweight belt comfortably. I think he could even go up, if I'm fucking honest, and win the light heavyweight belt. Um... Why do you think he's been so inactive? Has he been injured? Because I haven't really no, seen much about him. I think it's... Um, I think they, they kind of said no one would fight him to start. And then he couldn't decide if he was going to welt there or middle. I think he's committed to middleweight now. But it's not an easy fight, Costa, because Costa's a fucking unit. Like, Costa could easily fight the 205. Yeah. And he's a big, powerful guy. Like, he's not just going to... As much as I think Chamayev will likely take him down and and pin him a little bit. He's not going to be easy to keep him down. He's going to be explosive. He's going to be strong. I just think Chamaev will probably be the fitter of the two, you know. But but he's always dangerous, Costa. He hits like a fucking bulldozer yeah. as well. I'm surprised Costa wanted to take that fight, you know what I mean? It's a, it's I don't a... think Costa's mad, though. I think, Co- I think Costa knows if he wins, he's right back in the title picture. And, I, and he's lost to Adesanya once. He had a bit of a shit performance. I think he knows that, number one, he probably wants to, re- you know, uh, what's it called? Rectify that, and now like the belts moved, it's kind of yeah jumbled the division do, about, isn't it? Do you see that clip of um, Adesanya saying, "Who was you when I won the belt back in?" Da da da, and Robert Whitaker in the crowd yeah, like, with his arm in the air. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Oh, it's fucking class. And like, but for him, this movement is great, isn't it? Because like, he he's, he could get one or two good wins now and be back well, in the picture. For, uh, it's great for Whitaker. It's great for um, Jarakania. It's great for Costa. Don't make no difference to Cam's act, do it? You know, I think he'd probably be happy to fight as he's stylistically. Yeah. Um, but it, it does, it's, it's it jumbles the division up, and not to say, you know, it can make the division stagnant something. Now you look at Izzy, I think he's beaten the majority of those guys two times. So be interesting to see what they do with that, whether they do the rematch or they move it on. It looks it sounds as if Izzy wants a little bit of time off. Um yeah. which I don't blame him. I think I've seen he had 
And he has like 15 fights in five years or something like that. It's he's been as active as like someone on the come up, hasn't he? And he's been yeah. champion. It's yeah. been mad. Who, um, do you see the um, drink driving thing? Yeah, see John Jones. See what no, John no, Jones. John Jones tweet and deleted it. Yeah, I don't. I think he did it. I, I don't know. Maybe it's a, it's a piss take. Like, but he, he um, court retreated it and praised he wants to be me so bad. <laughs> 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 but then it was gone when someone had a look. So I don't know if it was a fake or if he did his classic tweet and delete. Class, welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> did uh, staying on the topic of UFC? We've obviously had Stur- <laughs> Stur- Aljamain Sterling at the gym the last two days. Um, what's, what's that been like? Has it been like good experience? Well, or? it's mad because. Um, he drove at the grappling in Eberville Ledger Centre in Polaris, and um, he's grappling at Mike Grundy. He's going to grapple the final word he pulled out, and he's going to grapple Mike Grundy. So he tweeted my old man yesterday, can you send me the gym address? So he came up and fit back him, like, great guy, like, fucking genuine, really good guy. you got time for everyone, not taking pictures of him. But also, like, massive respect as well. Because, like, he came yesterday and jumped, he like, didn't bring his own tree, jumped in with a class and rolled for the hour. Yeah. He trained this morning and he, and he just drilled and, and sparred with us for an hour. You know, he's not like um, number one bantamweight in the world, obviously, or was up until losing to O'Malley, but he's still probably the number one contender on paper. Could quite easily be like, oh, I'm not training with average Joe. I'll bring my own training partners. But no, I jumped in, sparred, rolled, just showing some techniques at the end to us all. And great guy, like, you know, really good guy, solid, still straight. He told me. He told me he's been uh, pretty much celebrating and uh, enjoying his time off since his since the fight, and he's still sh- ripped to the gills. <laughs> like so, he's got all those freak genetics. I'm very jealous of the man. But, uh, <laughs> do, no, really do good think, guy. Do you think he's like a bit of pressure off his back, like potentially? I was having a little chat to him yesterday, and you know, I, I won't go into it like too much and whatever. But, but pretty much, you know, he said, look, he said he lost, and he's come out and said this on his podcast. He said he lost, and it was kind of like uh, it wasn't even like a sadness. He said he was kind of like, oh, you know, yes, fight's over. I can finally go out to camp and and go um go enjoy myself a couple of months, which he said to himself. He said like that kind of showed to him that he lost not a desire, but he was burnt out a little bit. You no, know, because he was like he was saying to me, people see like five fights in two years. I think oh that's not how much, but like he said, like they'll tell you you're fighting in March. And says oh we're gonna push it to April, and oh, then we're gonna push it to June. And before you know it, you've got a fight in June that you've been training for since January. Like, that's a six-month camp. And then when they ask you to fight in November, people are like, oh, well, that's still four months apart. It's like, yeah, but I'm just in a six-month camp. And, you know, his last fight, there's no secret about it. He was forced into it a little bit, wasn't he? He he'd had a five-round war with Cejudo, and they wanted him to fight ten weeks later, and he've openly said he was he was nursing certain injuries and, and what have you. So I think he's just happy. I, I spoke to him yesterday. I was like, when, when you look in the fight, and he was like, he doesn't, he's not even thinking about it at the minute. He was like, to fight this year would need to be a serious offer. Um, he's only ever one away at the minute, though, isn't he? Re- realistically, you could chuck him. In my opinion, you chuck if 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 he wanted to, if a girl Marley wants to be active, so they're gonna have to do someone in between. But if he wanted to fight in December, they would. I don't see why they wouldn't chuck him back in because on paper he is the best bantamweight of all time. Um, it makes sense, wouldn't it? Beat Cejudo, beat Dillashaw, beat the Yan twice. Um, I think he's like the most wins in the division, uh, most defenses maybe as well. Each other, most yeah, defenses. Um, uh, n- not to say O'Malley's win was a fluke by any means, because I was obviously the shot he was drilling. But why not do it again? Like, does the the Cheeto fight really interest anybody? It doesn't really interest me. If I'm, I know, I know Cheeto beat him last time, but I think it would sell well, wouldn't it? Purely on the, they they can build they, the hype that's on the it. That's the storyline. But the, the the fight should be Marab. It should be Marab based on him just butchering Peter Yan up. Yeah, that should be the fight. But stylistically. You know, they're probably going to go with Cheeto, maybe. And I speak to Aldo yesterday, and I was like, he was saying to me, he was like, so I've, I've said to him, give the fight to Marab, and if he wins a belt, he wins a belt. I'll decide what I'm going to do then after that. He said, but That's like... That's a mad attitude to yeah, have. It must but, be a mad thing having two of you yeah, in the same yeah, gym. Yeah, yeah. He was like, don't, like, don't try and play the card of like, oh, we'll worry about Aldo. He's like, no, give him the fight. But we'll see what happens with that one. I mean, they're probably going to do the Cheeto fight, I think. That's what they're leaning towards. Strange though, because I seen O'Malley say he wanted to fight in December, and now obviously they've got two title fights on the December card. So it'd be interested to see. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna. I can't imagine they do a third title fight. So do they hold him out till January or February or or, what, or March? They do a a Vegas pit of in March. I guess we we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Are you going to the Polaris or? I'm not going. No, no. it's not for me. <laughs> I, no. I I enjoy like I've been before. I did enjoy it, but. Um, 
I don't know. It's just I just don't. It's not my scene. I don't really. I don't. I couldn't sit there and watch six hours of grappling. I'm not knocking the, the grapplers or the people who do it. All the best to them. I'm sure they. Some of them feel the same way about MMA. It's, it's just not for me. I could go and sit and like. I could go and watch Samurai, and and sit there as a fan and watch the fights for eight hours, no problem. Cause I enjoy watching it, but I, I wouldn't. You know, I I just don't enjoy. Is my grappling as much. People messaging me last night. What's Aljo doing in Ebervale like? It's sold out though. The it's, yeah, yeah, I know. It's sold out. <laughs> they got him staying the fucking Premier Inn there. Are they, yeah. yeah, I said I bet there's no uh, there's no no big big presidential suites in the Premier Inn. Nick, the barber downstairs, he was saying to me, someone messaged me last night saying Aljo was in Brewsters. <laughs> yeah, he was, and he was. Um, we finished training last night, and Oban took him home, and he said to Oban, "Oh." Where can I go for like a, a pint? And old man took him over to some social club in Murphy. Yeah. yeah, there's a picture of old man all his buddies with him in Murphy. Like, for oh, fit, mate. Class. Yeah, good guy. Gotta speak as you find him, people. And he's he's a real good guy. Got got had time like took pictures of everyone. And I mean, like there was probably fifty boys waiting for pictures after Is class. It, yeah. and he had no complaints. And um, yeah, great to have him on the mats. Like this morning now. I mean, I've been I've tr- been around and trained with UFC fighters and champions in the past. So like. As great as it is to have him here to me, I'm kind of not used to it, but I know what I feel like. But you've got like the youngsters like Scotty Ped and Levi and Liam who've got to, to do some drilling and some sparring today with a former UFC champ. Like, that's massive to them. Like, what an experience that is for them. You know, these boys last night rolling with him um, were just obvious. You yeah, know, it's yeah. great for him. And fair play to him because he could come over here and sit in his hotel and do a little bit of power work and go for a run. Or he could come and do his own thing in the gym. Do you know what I mean? He could come and do a bit of cardio. He could come at pads of his coach, but no, he's like, no, I'll jump in and yeah, he could be trying to like go behind closed yeah, doors or no, whatever. No, yeah, he? But yeah. He, he and you would accommodate him, you know, if he if he come and said, oh, any chance you I, you could you know if I could come behind closed doors now, you'd say yeah, no problem, like, you get it, I know, do you know what I mean? But um, luckily we got our atmosphere in the gym where no one's trying to make a name for themselves and saying, oh, I fucking subbed Al Joe down. No one got near subbing him anyway, I don't think. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, great, it's great to have him over. It's another accolade, you know. Just shows how big our gym have, have become that you've got a former champion is in Wales and he's like, ah, let's go train at show MMA. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's on the map. Isn't yeah, it? it is. It's the biggest gym in, in Wales and then fast becoming the UK and Europe. So, But this when this comes out, it'll be like 10 days before Samurai, won't it? So yes. it's a big card coming up. Yeah. It? It's like the first show. Big card. Is this fucking seat going down or is it me? No, you, you look a bit shorter than when you arrived. I was going to say. Fucking, fucking it's getting down. lower. We'll have to invest in some better chairs. Yeah, it's a fucking mock <laughs> um, setup. Yeah, Samurai's coming up the first, their first show. Obviously, was Cage Warriors Wales rebranded to Samurai. Um, big event, two two pro fights. Steph Evans is fighting Ruby Mace, I think the girl's name is. That's the main event. Winner gets a PFL Europe contract. Um, Will Dan Hardy be there then? Dan they? Hardy's going to be there, yeah, to present it. Uh, and then the co main, you got Scotty Pez. And Scotty Pez is actually fighting a French guy who Martin McDonough fought in his first pro fight in 2010. Oh, wow. So, so that's how long this guy is. Like. I think he's 10 and 9, but he's been fighting and he's been mainly coaching for the last few years. But he's a he's, he's good guy, guy, like. But Scott, he's on real good run of form, three fight win streak or four fight win streak, and looking good in the gym as well. Um, and then stacked in the card, you got Bevan Owls fighting Alice Clements. So. That's one which, like, I'm looking at thinking. Yeah, that's really up for the bantamweight belt. Bevan's already the flyweight champion. Um, got the lightweight ch- title on the line. I feel like there's maybe one more title on the line as well. Loads of boys from the gym, too many to get into. But yeah, that's, that's a massive, massive event as well. I mm. think on the same day, is that Logan Paul and Dylan Dallas on the same day? Is that the 21st? Not 20th. Is it, it, 14th. Is, 14th. So I when, think this is later in the month, isn't it? What do you think of all that? Well, I don't know, mate. It's been carnage. If it was my missus, I'd probably be pretty pissed off. Yeah, I would be pissed off, right? But I'm on the fence with this a little bit, with this, with this press in charges shit. I think that's... Unnecessary, just beat him up because it? at the end of the day, yeah, just fucking fill him in. Yeah, if, you, you if you're that chance. confident, you're if gonna... that confident and you're talking like he's talking, ah, you're gonna pay for it. Yeah, sort it out. I, I think he's been shafted in both ways because he's earning Logan more money by doing yeah. this, and then he's gonna probably have to pay all the money he's well, earning and himself. And also, like Jake Paul has released video of McGregor in bed with fucking prostitutes, yeah, and tagging his missus in it. And it's like, so that that's all right. But like, if and it's not they playing like I, it is wrong what he's doing. I'm not I'm not defending Dylan Dallas, but I mean it's wrong. If someone did you miss, you'd be fucking filming, wouldn't you? And I, I get I'd be I, filming it 
more so that my missus was yeah. with all these yeah. blokes. And, and I get it. But like, I don't know. I feel like you're kind of like, I don't know what, like, you, it's kind of like as if they're forcing him to pull out. Because like, I know you got to pay underground if he pulls out. And how much is he going to have to pay in court? But then I suppose he's going to have to go to court anyway. Yeah, he's got to fight, is so he? He's got to fight. But he's only getting fr- up front, though, like 400 grand or something, isn't it? Yeah, that's bullshit. Do you think? There's no way he's fighting for that. I think he's having a couple of, I reckon he'll have a couple of mil. Do you reckon? For, for him to turn up and do it, I think he'll have one of mil. It's got to make sense. Or now, sponsors. Though, he'd be happy yeah. with his yeah, sponsors, he'd take a mil. Yeah, it's funny, though. But like, it is wrong. He shouldn't be doing it, right? By all means. But. I just kind of feel like Logan and Jake Paul have done some some sort of seedy shit in their type yeah. online and, and tweeted certain things to people and like I said, putting videos out, tagging McGregor's misses and stuff like that. And I'm like, you can't have it all way, boys, you know what I mean? I think so as well. I think Logan as well, this last like year, for me anyway, watching him online just rubs him up the wrong way. I don't mm. know what it is about him. He's just I think he's just completely false now. Like, he's just trying to put on this he's, false... He's full-time agenda. WWE a character, isn't he now? Yeah, it's bollocks, You know, I did watch the press conference, and uh, I did laugh at the... I, I mean, Dennis is a fucking tit, isn't he? But I did laugh at the one thing he said. <laughs> it was like... He was ripping his missus, and he was like, yeah, my beautiful fiancée, she, she's got she's got an apartment that's worth more than your net worth. He's like, yeah, because fucking Leonardo DiCaprio paid <laughs> yeah. for it. And I was like, oh, back to you. Even saying that, though, is cri- to me, that yeah. is real cringy to say, like, fucking hell, my miss got an apartment worth more than everything. Yeah, like, that, to me, that's just like, that doesn't... Chill Sonnen did a good one as well. And again, I'm not condoning him posting the pictures. It is wrong. It is it is low. But what, what do you expect when you sign up to fight a guy like that? But like Chill Sonnen said, he was like, you two have gone on real beef. So they've gone on real beef. Dylan doesn't have any fights. Logan doesn't really have any fights. He's like, so what do you want him to sell? The, how, you do, how do you want him to sell the fight? Because yeah. he said, he can't set on a base that he's knocking all these guys out. He can't set on a base that you are knocking all these guys out. You can't set on a base that you two have had a street fight or had this bad blood. He said, so how do you want him to sell? He's got to create some sort of thing. And like Chael kind of said, you know, he's doing, he's doing what you, like, what, this is what you brought him in for, to, to, bring, yeah, to yeah. bring eyes on it. He's obviously, though, Logan's got to go home at night then and see his missus is fucking fuming, isn't it? Oh, yeah, fucking... <laughs> Again, I'm not condoning it, but... You know that? Do you watch you, the face-to-face? Yeah. So, like, Logan put a clip out just before that, didn't he? He made Dylan look, like, really yeah, stupid, it wasn't but like it wasn't that, like, like that, that at all. He's like... watch, he made out like he was stumbling noise, but he watched the full clip. They're both, like, and they're both talking each other over each... It was, it was a bit shit to watch. It was so shit I thought to it'd watch. be good, but they're just talking over each other and just fucking spewing bollocks, weren't they? And... But it wasn't how he, how he made it out to be. Um, Did you watch the Tommy, um, to go off subject, yeah, Tommy and KSI one? Yeah. Tommy made him look made like him a look fucking stupid. fool, didn't he? he is, he's not good. He's a cringe ball in KSI, and he's no good off the spot, is he? That. Yeah. I think Tommy's going to, I don't know why, the, I think Tommy's going to absolutely smoke him. I got that feeling in his I, well, I yeah. think Jake Paul would knock KSI out. And for the first four rounds, Tommy schooled Jake Paul. Jake Paul come back into it, he was a little bit fit there. Um, Tommy gassed a bit, and Jake Paul's the bigger puncher. But, like, boxing-wise, watch Jake Paul and Tommy Fury from a neutral standpoint with no favorability. You can clearly see Tommy is a yeah. much better boxer. He's going to be so much bigger than KSI as well going into this, isn't he? Like, when they after they weigh in, KSI's probably not going to put on anyway. No. Tommy's going to yeah. be massive. Like, There's a reason KSI don't want to fight Jake Paul, isn't it? I think so. Let's I'm, I'm surprised he's doing this, though. He sh- in my opinion... If he wanted to cash out, because like if he loses this, I think he does this because it's the same as Jake Paul. If he loses, it's like yeah, he's a pro boxer. Yeah, I suppose. He's if some, the can down the road if a bit. somehow he flukes a win, it's like yeah, but he beat Jake Paul. So what's the point of me fighting Jake Paul now? Because I beat the guy who beat him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know on that one. I just don't really see the. I think there's more appeal to, to Dylan Dallas and Logan. I think they're more evenly matched. Neither of them are really boxers. Um, yeah, I, I don't think Dylan's going to win, personally. Look at I don't think he's going to win, but I think he'll make a fight of it just because I don't think he'll take a dive. And no. I think he'll... Out, out of, he's got old face now, haven't he? After tweeting all this shit, he's got to go in there and at least put up a fight. Yeah. And I don't think Logan is like Jake, where he's a big athletic fucker, but I don't think he can box as well as yet. And I don't think he got that like sit down on his shorts power. Um, I'm more interested in that than I am. I'd love to see Dylan win. It would be great, it would wouldn't be it? fucking wild. It'd blow the internet up yeah. if he won. Fucking, I'm out. Where did Logan go from there then, though? Well, I don't know. 
It's not going to look good then, is it? Jake I, Paul is the best boxer of all of them. Anyway, I don't know Lo- what... Logan doesn't need to box, mate. If I was doing WWE and in loads of money... Do you know how much that, they what? must be paying Logan? Like, I bet... Because he doesn't do it every week, does he? You know, like when he does... A, I bet they're paying him half a mil site fee, 250 grand site fee. That's surprise me. That's about the millions he's making on Prime and his podcast and his YouTube. And he's telling about all his money his missus got. I was like, why are you fucking... I suppose it's to promote the, the Prime brand in it more than anything. I think that's what it's about now, isn't yeah. it, for him? Changed like, but here we are. This is the world we live in. We're me and you were discussing a grappler fighting a WWE star in boxing, and we're like, Yep, can't fucking wait for that. Got to get that clickbaity title, haven't we? Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> it's the way the world is. <laughs> but you've been uh, doing a running challenge this month. How's it going? I was <sighs> not good. No, it's been a fucking drag. Right? They won't be no October challenge. I'm fucking putting out on record now. It won't you, be an yeah, October could... challenge. It won't be an October challenge, mainly because obviously, the last few months I am able to train very much with my hand. So... I've been setting these challenges as a way to keep me motivated, keep me occupied. <clears throat> I still can't spar and roll, but I, I can do stuff. Now the cast, I can do stuff one-handed. Um, I can have a little move around with the boys, so I can do a little bit more training now. So I'm going to knock the challenge on the head for October. Maybe I'll do it in November. But yeah, the challenge. I think the challenge was, um, it was five 5K runs, three 10K runs, two 16K runs, which is 10 miles, and one half marathon all in September. And, I got them all done. I left the half marathon for yesterday, which was the 27th, something like that. And it was just a nightmare. <laughs> Why people do that shit for fun, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I can do a 10 mile, not comfortably, but it's not a torture. But that half marathon, like, you get a 10 mile and you think, right, 5k to go. And then you get a 18k, which is 3k to go. And you're like, just feels just as worse as the original 18k. But we got it done, done it in an hour 57, so half decent time, um, done it with my mate Zach, he's a decent, decently fit, you know, plays football, can run, runs a little bit, so we held it at a steady pace, and um, it was nice to have some company to do it, but the last half my friend I'd done was two years ago before that. And I think it'll probably be two years. So I do it, yeah. know, you gonna do a marathon one day? Do you reckon? When I retire, yeah. Because yeah. like at the minute, I say it's the, not to make up like I got harder than everyone else. We were saying when we before the camera comes on, but obviously I'm doing these challenges, and then like I'm still training three times a day. Like yesterday, I had to run the half marathon in the morning. I went and trained for an hour in the night. It's like so. It is. I I don't think I because you got to train for a marathon. Like I feel like to an extent, an half marathon. Like if you're as fit as I am, you can almost just get up and go and through being. For having a good baseline just of fitness out, and being you? hard-headed, you can tough it out. But I, I found that hard. So can you imagine doing double that? You'd have to, it's something you'd have to train for and put a couple of months prepping for, I think. So yeah. maybe I, I I would never do like a triathlon or nothing like that. That's too too much. I never do like an ultra marathon. I think I will do a, a marathon, when I, but it'll be when I retire and when I can just focus on like one session a day and train properly for it. You know what I mean? You you done a marathon, no? You're a fifty mile lad, you know? Yeah, I did. How the fuck did you do that? I was a lot smaller than I am now, but about four stone smaller. But we do, yeah. I just three months of training, like mm. consistently every day. Like, did you have a set training plan for that, or do you just do it off your own back? I was doing like small, medium, large run every yeah. week, and then maybe like one or two others if I could fit them in. But yeah, I just got to the point like I did a marathon in training for like the 50 yeah no, I don't because you can't you've got to do it like it's yeah. fucking disgusting I don't think I could do it but yeah I wasn't like slow like my marathon was like four and a half hours or something don't mind but I was like, still a marathon yeah like. but like the 50 was like 13 hours so there's a lot of walking involved and I I just couldn't run no I don't think you can I think your legs will take it like but honestly I've done it three times right the first time I did it like it was difficult it took me fucking ages yeah. like even longer than that and like the blisters on your toes, and like the things you just don't think yeah. about nails falling off and stuff. Well, like I'm, um, for, I don't think it's, it's, it's like I've had my running trainers now for young and I have to throw them out because, like, the, the although they still got the wedge, the grip on the bottom is gone. Flat, like. So, like, if I'd imagine the wedge have gone down a significant bit as well. And uh, so, I'm gonna get a new pair. Um, I just got a pair of them hawkers. Hookers. Yeah, everyone goes on about them. I've never used, I, I like the ASIC side because I, I use them for S and C and stuff as well. But but a couple of boys I know use them. Um, like clouds, honestly. I've only I've only worn them once. Yeah, but they're fucking awesome. Straight in for the half marathon. Straight in Sunday, for the yeah. half. Joe Joe's going to Cardiff half people. So yeah, well it'll be done by the time this comes out. Probably yeah, it'll it? be done. Yeah, hopefully. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Have we got any other fights to talk? I'm just trying to think. Obviously, we've got Fury and Garnu coming up. We kind of brushed over that, didn't we? Um, when is that? Uh, that's October. 
It's a quite a big month coming up, though. Yeah, isn't it's it? a big month for fights because you got Abu Dhabi, you got the, the prime card. Are there any of these UK time? The prime card is in the UK. The Logan Paul yeah, one. We so could that do, would be, be UK it would be good if we could do like a, like a watch party. Yeah, yeah. 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 Are you, are you Abu doing Dhabi, the next one? Abu Dhabi. Yeah, I haven't been asked to do it yet. I'm guessing I heard by now, so I'm guessing we could probably do. We could either do the Abu Dhabi card or we could do. The, the Logan Paul one might be fun to do because he'll just be fucking nuts, wouldn't yeah, it? Like, yeah. The thing with the UFC one is going to be so technical, isn't it? Where's that one? You've got like, oh, you two are just banging it out. So maybe we could do it for that, actually. Maybe get a couple of people in and just have a yeah, laugh and yeah. get a telly up on a wall or something. And Yeah, that's definitely something we, sh- we we can look into, I think. What date is it? The 20? 20... 21st, is it? If it's the 14th for Samurai, it's got to be a week after. It's got to be on Saturday, isn't it? I know, I know the Abu Dhabi card's the 21st, but what's the Logan Paul one? Logan Paul, okay, sorry. I think that what time's the Abu Dhabi one on? Because that might be, be a reasonable time as well, That'll be our time, though, Will. Because they're three hours in front. Logan Paul, Dylan Dice. Yeah. Little plug quickly whilst Joe's looking for that. We are currently looking for some sponsors. If anyone want to jump on and sponsor the Tank That Podcast, feel free to drop us a message. Um, we're looking at getting some merch sorted as well. So if you would like to... Well, hopefully, we'll be in the process of getting it sorted by the time this comes out so if anyone would like a tanked up podcast t-shirt message me or the page or joe and uh, and we'll sort it we can post them you can collect them we'll work it out between we're gonna us. figure it out we'll figure it out october 14th that is mate so yeah it's gonna be same as samurai a, uh, same as samurai yeah fuck can't do it then we can't do it. Can't do it. It is what it is. It is what it is. When's the Abu Dhabi one then? Is that the same? 21st. I think I might be away on the 21st. What, what did Fury? What did is Fury and Ngannou? That might be one worth to watch because that's Saudi. So that might be uh, on our time. That's the 28th, that is. So that, that might could not. work, can it? We could do that one. Yeah, if that's a reasonable time, we'll do it, innit? If it's like three o'clock in the morning, I'm just going to be no good. <laughs> I can't operate at that time. like. But yeah, we got, uh, we got a busy few weeks coming up for the gym. Uh, Show up Rory Evans fighting tonight as well. We got the gym with the samurai. Like I said, we got all these boxing fights. We've got some big, big UFC. Car. Big finish of the year. You want me to show you stuff to talk about towards the end? Yeah, I know. It's mad, isn't it? And, uh, you know, Halloween and Christmas. Eh? And we got Halloween special to do. We got the Christmas special to do. But, um, yeah, I mean, other than that, I think we're pretty much covered for today. Any uh, any sort of questions on these fights? And, and, like, give us some ideas, people. If you want to see, we, we did a, people seem to really love the. Um, the Strickland reaction video. So, yeah. is there any stuff you want us to to to, to kind of react to or whatever? We'll we'll do our best to get them. But uh, or guests or anything, hit us up. Yeah, some suggestions. Up. If, if it, you think you'd be a good guest, you know, don't be your average Joe work, working in Tesco. Don't get me wrong. We need we need, we need to get some views in for us. But uh, no, hit us up. Yeah, but we we're, we're pretty free currently, and we guess why. Right? So, if anyone wants to come on, or you know, if anyone wants to come on, drop us a message. Let us know. Um, anything to add? Other than that, mate, no, I think all good. All, all good, good yeah. You guys. That's another one. Short and sweet, guys. And uh, we'll have a lot more to talk about on the next one because there's some big fights coming. Boom.